Good evening. Welcome to my video number 300. In this video, I am going to estimate linear trend models for measuring growth rate in a particular economic variable. Uh, in my earlier video, that is video number 298, I used to estimate lag lean model to find out or to measure growth rate of uh, total uh, personal total uh, personal consumption expenditure in today's model uh, i am going to use uh, another model and compare my results with the previous video so as i mentioned in my video number 298 using lag lean model i estimated the following model where we regressed natural lag of personal consumption expenditure on time variable and uh, you can see in this slide uh, I just uh, ex explain this and that is the compound interest formula and then I took the natural lag of uh, this equation number one and uh, I got this taking, taking natural lag on both and then finally uh, I assume that beta 1 is equal to natural log of y naught and uh, beta 2 is equal to natural log uh, of 1 plus r and then I added uh, error term and finally uh, I got this model and this model uh, below here that is known as a log lean model. Uh, we call this log lean model because the dependent variable is in log form whereas the independent variable is uh, in absolute term so it's, it's not in uh, natural log form so uh, i estimated this model in uh, video number 298 in this video instead of estimating log lean model i shall estimate the following model where yt is equal to beta 1 plus uh, beta 2 t plus uh, ut where the subscript t stands for uh, time period and uh, this t in this equation uh, this stands for the trend this t is 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 meant for trend so instead of regressing the log of y on time we will regress y on time where y is the dependent variable. Such model is known as linear trend model and the time variable t is known as the trend variable. So ladies and gentlemen, I will show how to estimate such model. So I will open my stata file and uh, here in the stata file uh, I have data on a number of variables this is a uh, data on food expenditure this is a uh, data on uh, total expenditure known as personal consumption expenditure and uh, then I have uh, set the date in uh, quarterly data I have set this this uh, data um, as a time series quarterly data and then I have generated trend for uh, this uh, variable. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, in the linear trend model, if the slope coefficient is positive, then it means that there is an upward trend in the dependent variable. Whereas if it is negative, then there will be a downward trend in the dependent variable. So before I run the regression, let me show you the data and uh, here you see these are the serial numbers. Uh, this data is in uh, food expenditure. These are uh, the values in total expenditure measured in billions. These are the residuals that I have uh, estimated and uh, this is a time series data setting uh, quarterly. So it, sta it starts uh, from uh, 1993 quarter 1 up to 1998 quarter 3 and uh, this is the time variable uh, that is the trend and it starts with 1 and uh, it will run from 1 through 55. So this is the 55 
household data. So let me minimize this and uh, uh, I'll uh, regress. Instead of natural log of uh, personal consumption expenditure, I will regress the personal consumption expenditure on uh, trend. Trend is my T variable. So, if I click, I get this uh, output. If you look at this output, uh, this is the regression sum of square, this is total sum of square, sorry, residual sum of square, and this is total sum of square. So, regression sum of square, unexplained sum of square, or residual sum of square, and total sum of square. This is the F statistics value. And uh, this is uh, our uh, sample size. Total number of observations are uh, 55. And uh, this is the p value of f state. This is the r squared value. And this is the adjusted r squared value. And uh, this is the coefficient for the intercept. And this is its standard error. And this is the t state for uh, the intercept term. And this is the p value for the intercept term, and this is 95 percent confidence interval. And uh, this is the coefficient of the trend variable, the time variable, right? This is its standard error, this is its t value, and this is its uh, p value, that is significance value. And uh, uh, this interval is uh, 95 percent confidence interval for the trend uh, coefficient. Now, for the personal consumption expenditure that we considered earlier in video number 298, the results of fitting the linear trend model that I just explained are as follows. In contrast to the estimated model in video number 298, the interpretation of the linear trend model is as follows. Over the quarterly period 1993-1 to 1998-3, on average, expenditure total personal consumption expenditure increased at an absolute, not relative, rate of about seven billion dollars per quarter. That is there is an upward trend in personal consumption expenditure because this slope is positive seven point uh, this uh, slope is positive so there was an upward upward trend in uh, personal consumption expenditure over time now the choice between the growth rate model that was explained in uh, video number 298 and the linear trend model that I just explained will depend upon whether one is interested in the relative or absolute change in the expenditure in the personal consumption expenditure. Although for comparative purposes, it is the relative change that is generally more relevant. So a word of caution is that for comparative purposes, it is the relative change that is generally more relevant. So, it means it is better to use a log line model rather than the uh, trend model because in the trend model, uh, in the linear trend model, the coefficient uh, is uh, absolute rather than the relative rate, uh, rate of change. In passing, observe that we cannot compare the R square values of uh, the models that we estimated in video number 296 and the model that we just estimated in this video number 300 because the dependent variables in the two models are different. So in some other video, we will show how one compares the R squares of the models like uh, uh, linear trend model and uh, log lean model. So this is the interpretation of uh, the linear trend models for the uh, growth of personal consumption expenditure. Uh, 
on average over the quarters from 1993 first quarter through 1998 third quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope uh, you got some good idea by comparing this model to the model that I explained uh, in video number uh, uh, 298. So, these are two different ways of uh, uh, estimating models for measuring growth rate. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel and uh, do not forget to, uh, to, to click on the bell icon so that you can get notification about my other videos. I thank you very much for uh, being with me. Uh, see you in another video.